Thank you. It's an honor to be back here. Um, so we'll start. Three years ago, I stood in that square and did the only thing I knew how to do, film what was happening. Doctors were helping the injured, singers sang to encourage the protesters. Everybody did what they could do to transform the square into the utopia that they wanted all of Egypt to be. And around us, we could hear, we will no longer live in the story that has been written for us. We demand to be the authors of our own story. And you, as an audience, were a part of it too. All over the world, your witness turned our efforts from a lonely local fight into a global struggle. I met Ahmed Hassan in the square and fell in love with his beautiful spirit. Ahmed is one of the authors of Egypt's future. What happened in that square was magical, but three years later, what now? When you read the news, it seems like the revolution has failed. We've lost dear friends and have many more in jail. People ask us, when will Egypt ever have a Western-style democracy? But the success or failure of the revolution cannot be determined only by the most recent political outcomes. If I have learned anything over the past three years, democracy is a journey, not a destination. And the hope that I see is in the streets. And with a younger generation that refuses to be silenced, refuses to have their story written for them, the truth may not always be shown on television, but it's being painted on the walls, tweeted, shared. When an injustice is done, it is filmed and uploaded. When an innocent is hurt or killed, their memory is honored across all the downtown walls. Now, this is Ammar, a graffiti artist who is in our film. He became known internationally because he refused to stop painting, uh, stop painting the stories through the tear gas and all the flying bu bullets. Now, visitors would applaud him, saying, wow, Egyptians are expressing themselves and painting on walls for the very first time. He would sit back and joke and say, well, we have been painting on walls for 5,000 years, <laughs> but yes, our voices will be heard. We will continue to write the story of our future. Now, there may not be one leader that has come out of the revolution yet, but as Ahmed says, this is bigger than one leader. <laughs> على قائد يحكمنا لأن كل واحد نزل من ذلك التحرير هو بيتمتع بالقيادة إحنا بندور على قميص the Square has been released on Netflix in 50 countries. Ahmed's words, we're looking for a conscience, has been tweeted into dozens of languages. The Square has now been seen by millions. But no, Chris, we did not win the Hollywood Oscar of a couple weeks ago. But again, the Cairo streets wrote their own story. A few hours after the Oscars were announced, the K gave us the Oscar of the street, the Cairo streets, and that is the best Oscar we could have possibly imagined. And now a new story is being written in our increasingly borderless world as protesters are translating and showing our film themselves in squares in Kiev, Caracas, and Moscow, and other squares, medans, plazas, and piazzas across the world. Truth and courage are contagious. So catch them while, they ca while you can, and my wish for you is you find your own square. Thank you very much. Thank you.